Hello guys, welcome to The Train Parrot. A very relevant topic in the last few days is how to exit deals in red. Now that the market is dumping, many of, of you guys, including myself, we are holding some red bags and, and we have some deals that we, we want to be able to close as quick as possible to use our, our funds to, to keep running other bots, to keep doing other deals, etc. And I noticed that many of you, even though you know we've been uh, using different tools like spreadsheets and different um, tools that help you uh, understand how much funds you will require to exit a, a deal in red and when to enter, it's still a topic that many people are struggling. And, and that's when I started thinking, why don't we use a visual tool? Because when you are able to visualize something in the chart, it turns out much more easy to understand what needs to be done to exit a deal in red. So for that, uh, today I'm introducing a new script that's going to be free for everybody and not just for patrons. And this tool is called the Ad Funds Simulator. The Ad Funds Simulator um, is going to help you visualize and add all the details about your red deal into the chart and then it's going to help you visualize at what times if you enter more funds what will have happened and for that let's first look into this example this is a TWT and this token has been on a downtrend and it entered on a deal using QFL and is on paper trading uh, luckily <laughs> and that deal entered here almost at the top uh, right after a pump. So this pump probably generated on QFL, uh, it pushed up the, the base and then when the price went below the base, then we enter with a first uh, terrible deal here. And that's the, the base order. Then we have another deal here and another deal here and another deal here. So that left us with an average price around here, around the 45, 45, and the take profit is 4609. So you're gonna have all these details, basically. You can get all these details when you go to your deals page on FreeCommerce and you open the deal, you're gonna find at what date the deal started, you're gonna find what's your average price, and that's all you need to start using the simulator. Uh, in the simulator, when you right click here, once you have it in your chart, you're going to be able to enter the current average price, which in this case was 45.45 around that. And then how much funds you already have invested. In this case, uh, because the pair is USDT, so I need to look into the deal and we have $360 already invested here. So uh, if you're doing DCA, if you're doing DCA, um, you might have still a pending safety order. So the, ideally you will use this tool when you have already filled all the safety orders and the price has fallen below the lowest safety order. That's when this tool will become handy to visualize the effect of, of applying an exit strategy. Here we enter uh, when was the time the deal was in originally open, so the date and the time. In this case, it was at this time. And here we have an expected price percentage bounce, and we have a, a take profit percentage and a drawdown threshold to add funds. So I'm gonna explain that. We open the deal here, and our average price is represented by this line. So right after we enter these details, we start seeing here. We have $360 invested uh, at an average price of 0 0.4544. This threshold here that says 5%, it's saying that we are not gonna add funds unless we are 5% below our average price. Why is that good? Because we might have already placed around here, uh, right? We, we, we might have already placed here a safety order, but probably we have our safety orders one, two, and the four is below the, the average price. So we don't want to be adding further funds at the same level. That, that is not a great strategy. What we want to do 
is take advantage of a heavy drop that we have the expectation that is going to bounce back up and allow us to exit. So this will be an, an excellent point where you want to add funds. But this is very picky because at the moment, if, if we were at this time today, at exactly this time, we wouldn't know that this is going to bounce. So how do you know that you need to add funds here? Or, or how do you know you need to add funds here? That's pretty tricky. It's very easy to say it when we have already drawn the whole chart uh, to find all these areas. But what could help us identify these areas? So for that, we are using uh, a very basic strategy based on RSI. And I have added here the RSI already to the chart. So you can visualize the effect of this type of RSI. This is an RSI on the one hour using a length of seven. I'm not using the 14, which is the standard because the seven uh, behaves twice as fast as the 14 and reacts to movements of the price much quicker. And it helps me find uh, those bottoms. I'm also using low instead of close because close, when you have long weeks down, the it it, it kind of doesn't spot those weeks. And those weeks are really great to, to find exit points. So some, you can use close, but in some cases you can use also low. And low here, as you can see, is spotting this point and is spotting that point and that point. It's not going to be always perfect. This is just for demonstration. And you might have you might need to, to tweak this further for different tokens. Not all the tokens behave the same. So this is kind of a, you have to play with these parameters until you find something that actually works as you're going down and then decide whether you trust that and, and, and whether you expect it's going to repeat and then you can try another point to exit. So what do we do next? We, we have all the settings already here. We have the time, the funds, and we explain this 5% here. We are saying that we are not going to enter unless we are 5% below the white line. Then we have a 0.3%. Now we are dropping our expectations in terms of taking profit because we want to exit. We, we want already very low in price. We're going to have to add loads of funds to rescue this deal. And, and therefore, why not dropping the take profit so we can exit? The expected price percentage bounce is extremely important because we need to uh, have an expectation that we are going to find a bottom. But once we find a bottom, we need to know how much we expect this to bounce up. In this case, it bounced up 13%. So that's great. That's great for an exit. This one is bouncing 8%. But there are many that they're not bouncing as much, it's like 3%. For example, let's say we mistakenly enter here with funds. This is only bouncing 3% up, and we need to bounce up. So when we add funds at the bottom of this price, when it bounces back up, it takes profit. But if the bounce is very small, then we need to add more funds. And that is where the script shines because it shows you when you're going to fail. For example, let's enable the show exit failed and let's enable the show funds required. So this is going to show you how much funds you will require to exit a position of this size that was an average at this place. And let's also show the add funds, the places where we are adding funds. Let's go one by one. This one is saying, let's add funds here. Why is it saying add funds here? Because we are using the RSI strategy with seven, low 15, and one hour. So this is saying, if I'm below 15, the line 15, I'm going to make it for you. Let's drop it to 15. So that's 15. So this is saying here, the condition is true. We got very oversold and we add funds here. We have a label telling us this is where we will have added funds. And then we have all this area in red is a 3% that we, we are saying, I'm expecting this to bounce 3% up. Therefore, I need to add 15, 18 total amount of money to drop the average from 0 0.4545 all the way down, all the way down, from here to this new average. 
And then the green area at the top is the percentage of take profit right above that level of new average. So capitulating, we have a position of 360. This is the size, 360, that is sitting at, at this average. And if we are relying on the strategy of RSI being oversold 15 with these parameters here, we will have added funds right there and that will have dropped the average to 3% above that entry price. So from here to there, there's a 3%. And that 3% is the expectation that we have that we, if we hit this trigger, we have an opportunity to exit with 3%. And in this case, our assumption was correct. Immediately, we hit a 3%. So having $360, if you add $1,500, you will have dropped the average to here, and then you exit your deal. Now, as we can see here, the price went above that. So this 3% was quite conservative. So what happens if we change that expectation to something a little bit more ambitious, and we go with 4 We still exit we still exit the deal at three, you see? So this expected price percent at pounds is now with three, we went to four, and at four, it's asking us for less money to exit. It's saying that if we want to exit here, we only need $1,000. And we will have exit, it will have taken this time, and you will have exit. And if you put it to five, you still exit, because that top is above 5% from the time you enter with the signal from RSI. So if we increase it to 6, then we start getting in trouble and it's becoming more difficult to exit and you never reach that target profit and your exit failed. And then here it failed again. So this signal with a 6% expectation that the price is going to bounce up, that expectation became too high and you're not able to exit. So you have to drop it. You have to drop it. And even at five, some entries are failed exits. So we have to drop it further. So this simulation is showing us uh, what kind of expected bounce we, we, we should have. Because here, one, uh, one, two, three exits are exiting and one is failing. So maybe we need to drop this to 2.5. But as we drop this, these prices to exit, the required amount of funds are increasing. It's becoming more and more expensive to exit. It's going to get to a point that you have a position of $300, $360, but you're needing $6,000 to exit. And at the same time, if you notice, as we go further away from the deal, like the deal happened there, if we need to start entering money here to exit our deal, also, or the price is increasing and increasing. So here we need only 2,000 to exit at the bounce of a 2%. Here we are needing almost 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. And if the price keeps going down, you're eventually going to need a lot of money to exit. Of course, if the price comes back up, then we might need less. In this case, the price is still very low. And because we are relying on RSI, RSI is not triggering here because we say we want RSI 15. So maybe you want to use an, a different exit strategy with the RSI. Maybe you want to change some of these parameters to get more exits and, and tweak a little bit the expected bounce and the take profit. So all, all these things, uh, are very difficult, very difficult to, to explain uh, if you don't see it on a chart, if you don't see it, uh, how it will play out if you go with that strategy. And, 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 and if you need very quickly to see how much funds you need to add, then you need very complex uh, spreadsheets and, and, and you need to enter the live data of what's the current price and all these things. So I thought why we don't use just a single chart? Why don't we put everything here and, and we enter all the details of your red bag and you can use this uh, tool in two ways. You can use it 
as an educational tool, right? So you can learn how to exit red bags uh, just playing here in a safe zone, or you can use it as you're going down and uh, seeing on all the way down how it will play certain strategies. So let, let, let's say that you are, so this is the current time. We haven't seen anything here in the future. You already prepare with that RSI that is triggering a few times and is triggering and is allowing you to exit. So you're not seeing anything like exit failed. And then you could wait until the next time the RSI uh, triggers at that level. This is one of my favorite features on TradingView because here you pull in the RSI one hour, seven with the low, you put your line, you look at your exits, and then all you do is you hit this plus and you get an alert. And this is going to send you an alert to your email, if you want, telling you exactly when the next time the event occurs. So you can consider using that to, to pick when to add your funds. In, in the trade. So that's it, guys. I hope you like this script. I hope you find it uh, helpful, useful to learn and to educate other people as well how to exit red back deals on when you're doing dollar cost average in general. It doesn't need to be specifically for a bot. It can be uh, even manual trading if you're doing dollar cost average. All you need to know is what's your average and what's your position size. And after that, you can you know try to rescue a free falling knife or a price that is on a downtrend and here is the link so it's called ad fans simulator you can find it from right now it's been published 30 minutes ago and it comes with all the instructions so you can access it i hope you like it you can leave me comments in this video if you have any questions i'm gonna try to answer as many as i can i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye